Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Semetics. Today we have a very interesting algebra question. We need to find our x and y, but we know that x plus y equal to 5 and the product x times y equal to 5 and we need to find our x and y. If you have your solution, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and then we will check our answers in a few seconds, so it will be really interesting. So how we can solve this question? First of all, let's look closely at our uh, first equation, x plus y equal to 5. From here, let's express, for example, our x. Let's do this, let's express our x. So from here, our x is equal to 5 minus y. So we just need to subtract y from both sides. So we have 5 minus y. And right now, let's plug in this x from the first equation. Let's plug in this instead of this x. Let's plug in 5 minus y to the second equation. So as a result, what do we have? We have 5 minus y, 5 minus y times this y, because instead of x, we'd be plugging this 5 minus y, and times y, okay, don't forget about it, so times y, and equal to, equal to 5, okay, so this is our, this is our equation right now. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit, as a result, what do we have? We just need to multiply this y by this parenthesis, so as a result, we have 5y minus y square and equal to equal to 5. It looks like this is a quadratic equation. Yeah, we have y square, we have y, we have a constant, but it's not a correct order. Yeah, we, we prefer a second power on the first position, y on the second position. So right now, let's change this position a little bit. First of all, let's write this 5 from our, uh, from our right side to left side. So as a result, we have 5y minus y square and minus 5 is equal to is equal to zero really great right now let's change in order let's write all of the stuff uh, this uh, expression on the first position so as a result we have minus y square plus 5y on the second position and we have minus 5 is equal to is equal to zero here's our equation but the final step we just need to multiply both sides by uh, minus one because we prefer right here positive sign we don't need right here a negative so when we multiply both sides by minus one it changed nothing to be honest because we multiply it on both sides but in the same way it helps us a lot we have y square minus 5y we need to change all these signs and plus five equal to zero and this is our quadratic equation everyone learn everyone know how can you solve this type of quadratic equation everything is great so right now we're going to show you how can you solve it with basic uh, all known method with the discriminant let's solve this uh, equation real quick so we have our discriminant equal to we have b square minus 4ac and we need to know our coefficients so right now let's write it so a equal to 1 from here so a equal to 1 b equal to minus 5 b equal to minus 5 and c equal to equal to 5. So all of coefficients that we really need to know. And right now let's plug in each of these coefficients into this spot. So as a result, what do we have? Minus 5 to the second power. We have b square minus 4 times a times 1 and times c times times 5. Let's simplify this. As a result, we have minus 5 square. We have 25. 25 minus right here we have 20 and it's really great because there are a lot of times when the right here discriminant is negative and right now we can easily say okay we have a positive discriminant so it means that we have to, we will have like two real number roots so right now let's find this first of all we have y first and y second let's plug in this um, this discriminant into our spot everyone know how can we find it uh, this all known formula we have minus b plus minus square root of d and all over all over to a let's plug in so we have minus b minus b equal to minus five yeah minus five the next thing we have plus minus square root of discriminant square root of uh, right here we have five so square root of five and we divide all of this stuff by two times a times one right here we have minus minus as a result we can easily say that this is a positive sign so as a result we have five plus minus square root of five and all over all over all over two and right now i prefer like to can uh, to divide this five by uh, two okay let's do this so let's divide it as a result we can easily say that we will have like five over two yeah something like that plus minus square root of five over two and for better uh, for better simplification for better calculation let's write instead of this five half let's write our decimal value so as a result we have 2.5 plus minus right here we don't know square root of five exactly what it is equal to yeah so right here we can easily leave it like that so square root of five over over two and this is our solution to this uh, question we have y first and y second so right now let's write it and then we will find our x first and x second because uh, don't forget about and then we need to find a pairs of solution we can't find only y first and y second okay so y first let's consider it for example with the positive sign so we have 2.5 uh, 2.5 plus square root of 5 
over over to this our y first and we also have y second so this our dot right here okay and we have y second y second is equal to we have 2.5 minus square root of 5 over over 2 and to be honest let's find our uh, x first and x second but how can we find it of course we need to go back to our substitution so from here x equal to 5 minus y okay so let's write this thing uh, let's write the thing right here so x equal to 5 minus y okay and this is extremely important expression for us because right now we're gonna plug in instead of this uh, y we're gonna plug in y first and then we will get x first and we're gonna plug in y second right here into this spot and then we will get like uh, x second so let's do this right now from here our x first our x first is equal to uh, is equal to uh, right here we have 5 minus y first so let's plug in it we have x first equal to 5 minus y first y first this one so 2.5 plus square root of 5 over over 2 and as a result we can easily open our parentheses so as a result we have x first equal to 5 minus 2.5 and minus right here because the, because of this minus we need to change this sign inside parentheses so we have minus square root of 5 over 2 and right here 5 minus 2.5 equal to 2.5 so as a result our x first equal to 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 and a little bit symmetrical yeah we have right here 2.5 minus right here 2.5 plus and everything is great okay so let's do this this is our x first and x and y first right now let's go look closely at our y second so as a result from here we can find our x second but we need to subtract 5 minus y second okay y second not a uh, y first but y second and then we will find our x second so right now let's do this so as a result we have x second equal to 5 minus y second equal to 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 all right so as a result we have x second equal to 5 minus 2.5 and plus square root of 5 over over 2 uh, really great and the final tricky move 5 minus 2.5 equal to 2.5 so as a result we have x second equal to 2.5 but with the plus square root of 5 over to and this is our x second so as you can see we find our both pairs of solutions both pairs of roots and let's write it it looks like this is our answer but in a few seconds we will check it okay so this is our answer so we have x and y both pairs so let's start for example with x first y first so x first 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 and y first 2.5 plus 2.5 plus square root of 5 over over 2 and of course the second pair of uh, solution we just need to change position because we have our, our symmetrical thing on both parts right here we we change only sign and right here we just need to swap like for better understanding all roots are absolutely the same but with different signs so as a result we have 2.5 plus square root of 5 over 2 and 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 okay this is our both pairs of uh, solutions we have one second uh, first pair and the second pair of course we can easily uh, write these in terms of like decimal value we can easily find the approximate value but right now we don't need it because we're gonna check it okay let's do this so let's check it so let's prove prove our our uh, roots first of all let's write our question so x plus y equal to 5 and x y also equal to 5 which is like really great right now let's check for example our addition right here okay but we don't need to check both of these pairs because we're talking about addition we don't need to uh, it's nothing changed for us when we add 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 yeah we can easily swap by by positions because we have addition and it's it's a great operation for us it's not subtraction when we can't check it okay it's addition so we can also check only this one or this one because we add it okay we have absolutely the same in terms of like overall we have absolutely the same pairs right here and right here but with different sign and in terms of addition it changed nothing okay so let's check for example the first one so we have 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 and we need to add to this one so plus 2.5 plus square root of 5 over over 2 all right let's see what will happen so let's uh, we can actually get rid of this parentheses because we don't need it this is basic addition so 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 
plus 2.5 plus square root of 5 over over 2 and from here we can easily cancel this expression with square root sign and as a result we have 2.5 plus 2.5 equal to equal to 5 so addition works absolutely absolutely perfectly right now let's go with with uh, multiplication so we need to multiply these both parentheses so 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 and we have times 2.5 uh, plus square root of 5 over over 2 from here let's see what will happen and a lot of students are confused because they try to multiply this parenthesis by this one but if you look closely there's like a great formula at school we have a square minus b square this is equal to a minus b for example or doesn't matter a plus b a minus b doesn't matter a times a plus b okay and if you look closely we have absolutely great thing for us because we have for example this is our a this is our b this is our a this is our b so we're talking about a minus b times a plus b so we can consider it as different difference of two squares all right so as a result we can write it as 2.5 square minus square root of 5 over 2 also squared okay and right now let's simplify this expression okay it's really great to see what will happen when we raise these to the second power okay uh, right here uh, 2.5 to the second power equal to 6. Point uh, oh, let's continue right here, okay, in from the new line. So as a result, what do we have? Mm, 6.25, this is our 2.5 square. And right here, we need to raise both. We need to raise our numerators of square root of 5. We need to raise to the second power minus 2 to the second power. And as a result, what do we have? 6.25, 6.25, and minus. Right here, we have 5, because we need to cancel our square root with these two. So we have 5 over... Uh, 2 square equal to 4. In terms of decimal value, 5 over 4 equal to 1.25, alright? So as a result we have 6.25 minus 5 over 4 equal to 1.25, 1.25, and as a result this is equal to, equal to 5. So we can easily see that absolutely correct absolutely correct solution so we checked it we 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 prove it which is also really great and a lot of students in the beginning like are confused because they say okay this is not like not possible addition equal to five multiplication equal to five how is it possible yeah but as you can see we find real number roots which is also real great because there are a lot of type of this type of question where we can't find real number solution we have a negative discriminant right here yeah we have negative discriminant and we can easily find complex root which is not good for us but when we solve it when we find our real number root which is also like really great yeah great experience to find our real number roots where right here we have both real number pairs of solution. So this is my explanation to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of challenges, so we can also exchange information. You can also write your response down into the comment section and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.